Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, it's the end of day one of our mission trip to Myanmar in January of 2019. It's been a long day. We've been flying for 12 hours, and, and our flight began just before we got onto the plane to uh, sing the song Facing a Task Unfinished, which really set the tone for, for um, the trip, which is to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ to lost people who were just like us. On a plane, normally you sit next to someone or even a couple of people sometimes, and you're able to sit down and chat with them. Uh, on my first plane flight this afternoon, I tried sharing with the guy on my right um, who didn't really speak much English, so that was a bit tough. But then I looked across the aisle and there was a man who I was able to engage with for about 35 minutes. He was, his name was M Amrit. He was uh, an Indian man who um, believed at first that there was no God. Then upon discussion, he said there is a God. Then we went through the law that God expects of us and uh, he realized that he was sinful. And then he went back to saying, well, I don't think there's a God. Now, I challenged him on that. I went through explaining the gospel that there's no solution to try and pretend there is no God to avoid guilt. Just as it's no solution to try and avoid guilt by pretending I didn't do the wrong thing. I said, the only solution is straight through the middle for someone to pay the penalty of your sin, either you or Jesus. And I left him very, very strongly with that choice. And I called him to, to turn and trust in Christ alone for his salvation. And then anyway, by the time we arrived in Myanmar, um, we were just able to sit down with a couple of Christian brothers who were on their own mission trip doing Bible translations. And they were an incredible blessing to us. And they said that we were a mutual blessing to them. And so it was just a wonderful sight of how God is working. And we're just a small part of His plan, a small part of His plan to expand His kingdom. And it was such an encouragement to, to be encouraged by brothers and sisters in the faith. I invite you, fellow Christians around the world, to join with us on this journey. Maybe you're not here with us in Myanmar, but you can watch these videos, read the updates, and find out who that you can be praying for, people that we've already spoken to. But also, can you please pray for us in advance? Pray for people that we might speak to, that God would prepare them and bring them to us that they may hear. And also pray for the team that we may be sustained and keeping on, keeping on through this week, as it does get tiring. And so may you be our support and our strength from wherever you are sitting, watching this on your phone or your computer, coming before the sovereign, all-powerful God of the universe, who is the one who is in the business of saving sinners through the feeble means of humans preaching his gospel.